We're back with We Happy Few. Happy is the country with no past. Sneaking often works better than hitting people. Looking and acting like everyone else works even better. Oh, really? I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Yeah, that is kind of sad. Better pop some joy. Polarity devices reverse traps. For a while, you'll pass through without trouble and pop and proper decent folk. God. Ooh, nice blood. Here to see the doctor. He does love to be in the papers. Head right on in. Yep. I told him the labs was on lockdown. They don't listen Couldn't anymore. be better, thanks. Well, right, you right. certainly right. laid right. out a... Com Where do you think you're going, then? We're not open to the general public. Bugger all. I'm interviewing Dr. Verloc. Ah, you're a member of the Fourth Estate. You've come at an awkward time, you see, as we're just in the middle of... Um... Well, there's been a bit of excitement in the lab. Let's come back tomorrow. You're not saying something's gone wrong? No, of course not. Everything's peachy. Look, all right, peachy. you take your press pass up to Helen in public relations. Just uh, follow the sort of brown-colored line. I must ask you not to stray from the path, because there's all sorts of delicate machinery and chemicals and whatnot, and we don't want you hurting yourself, do we? What sort of crisis makes them lock down the entire factory? Press the button. Hello. Oh. Oh, great, more loading. Lovely. Oh. What do you mean I'm trespassing? Most of the workers here will have the same respect for a press pulse as the bobbies did. What? I think I guess I went maybe to the wrong spot. You are not authorized. Please clear the area Hey, showers, can I activate? No? Lame. Mind the closing doors, please. Uh-oh. Please stand. I have the gas mask Bye. on. Okay. For decontamination. Product pure... Purity is our highest goal at Hayworth Labs. Uh, I wonder if I can... Well, so much for that. Allows us to maintain the highest standard of purity. I'm oh, so glad they're concerned about purity. You have been decontaminated. Oh, yes. Please proceed into Do the lab. Do not turn down the heat on the ruminating reaction until you've noted the temperature curve. That door looks rather sturdy. I think the explosive threshold temperature. You can't hide forever. Just grab the temperature curve. They say hitting people doesn't work very well. I got lead pipe. Oh, that's awkward. Um, health stuff. There we go. Right is rain. I don't know what he's meant to do up there. Oh, okay, there's a... Uh...
Oh, that's good. Can I just choke out this guy? Yes, do that. Please don't struggle. He's only unconscious after I throw him into the flames, still. Still only unconscious. Oh, here we go. There's a place to go. I think. Yep. Or is this just how... Oh, God damn it! Stop it. All right, there we go. Go to the glass bottle, you idiot. Right next to you. Go for it. Eat lead pipe. It's not personal. I don't know, I'm not too concerned about beating the shit out of these guys. How come I can't get the weapons when I search them? There we go, an electric truncheon. Got one of their weapons. Right after I bitched about it. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna beat the shit out of you. Do we really have to do this? Yes. Just easier this way. Okay, I got some weapons now. Oh god damn, they're almost gone. Let's try this actually. I wonder which one of these controls the steam. Do they both? I'll just try. I feel so chivalrous turning off that dangerous steam. If that is indeed what I did. Okay. Drink some tea. Or the curry. God damn it. Gotta go through there again. Okay, going through the vents, going through the vents. 
that guy's just having a fun time. Wait, what? Did I miss something? Oh, I can't see. Like, there's no inner map. Definitely not going there. And if the game doesn't let me go back through there, then I missed something. I wasn't paying attention to where I was supposed to be going, actually. That's always lovely. It's just somewhere in here. Oh, here it was. Oh, great. Just want to be good to have the nice rubber fetish suit. Can I throw him on here to, like, just absorb all the shock, or is that not work? Uh, it doesn't work in the water. It shouldn't, but... There be for the of the fog next time I come down there. Great, what the hell? Oh, great. The steam will push me. Okay, microphone man, shut up. Okay, um. Now, where do I go? Oh, right there. I do in here then. Press button. Oh, great. Bad timing. That's what I get for not being patient. Let me steal a canteen. And some scotch. Maybe I could sneak past these gents without a fuss. There we go, that was easy. I guess this is the latest test formula. I think I'll just take this with me. Evidence oh. or something. Sure, good. Permanent solution. Drove the subject insane. Oh lord. A big red button. I wonder what it opens. Oh yeah, let's just hit the big red button. Test of A329. Dr. Verlek from Ronald Norrish. We have, we have had mixed results with our first test of A329. The subject, Vanessa Tinkerbell, came to us presenting Downer Syndrome, Downer Symptoms, uh, of melancholy and unpleasant memories. We are pleased to report that this is no longer the case. Uh, there have been side effects, however. Tinkerbell was formerly one of the village's foremost intellectuals. She now has difficulty with basic cognitive functions and exhibits obsessive behaviors. Example given, she runs around her cell clapping her hands and seems to believe she can fly. Recommendation. Further research on A329 uh, is required. At minimum, it should only be used for the most severe downer cases. Great. Apple. Steal the apple. Yeah, let's open the... Let's press the button. <laughs> I feel rather brilliant right now. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> I do like how the ice cream, uh, boy pill Funny. thing. Something I 
remember that time I threatened to thrash Timmy Hargreaves because he said rotten things about Sally, and it turned out he had an older brother who'd been in the army, and he was waiting for me on my doorstep when I came home from school. And he gave me such a thrashing. Why would I remember that right now? I wonder why. I'm about to get beat up. Research. To General Bing from Harry Haworth. General, I must inform you that despite the initial success of our joy program, our supplies of the necessary ingredients will run out. Not necessarily soon, but sooner or later. At least unless the political situation changes and we can once again import them. May I suggest that we build a second begin a secondary line of research? I've read some intriguing phrenology studies that suggest the true sort of hap source of happiness lies in physical manipulation of the brain. Perhaps we should use the breather we've given ourselves to pursue an electronic approach. Please advise. Lovely. I don't know if this only upgrades the one here or if it upgrades all the ones. I'm going to wait till I have one that's usable like all over. Press the button. Dr. Burlock is thinking very hard, sir. No visitors. The brominating reaction has caught fire. Sir. Sorry to bother you, sir, but there's a fellow here who says the reaction tank is on fire again. I said no interruptions. Some of the byproducts are poisonous. He says it's poisonous, sir. Of course there are poisonous byproducts. <laughs> Tell him to do whatever they did the last time. Dr. Burlock would like you to do whatever you did the last time. No one knows that. He's an imposter. Implement security protocol 187. Oh, yes, sir. That's my favorite protocol. Oh boy. I am full of the fury of the Lord, and I am right weary with holding back. What? Oh, I read it with Oh great. Well, let's try the weapon then. You shall drink the wine of God's wrath. Poured into the cup of his anger. What the hell is this guy going on about, though? I have no idea how hard this guy hits, so let's heal up a bit preemptively. You shall be tormented with fire and sulfur in the presence of the Lamb. Ye shall not deceive me with empty words, for the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. <clears throat> Judge it be, and he is angry every well, that was day. Easy. Now my blocks in kindergarten. Let's disarm more contra uh, traps. Is there anything else around here? I wonder if the um killing people does like the dishonored thing where it gets more chaotic if you kill more people. They haven't really expressed that, but I don't know, maybe. I ask for a full battery of tests done on the latest isomer. Now, where is it? Why is it not in the pneumatic? Do any of you want to keep your jobs? I'll have you all replaced by Mrs. Pankhurst Bridge Club. Do a better job than you people. Oh, great.
Let me just take you out. Please don't make a fuss. There we go. It's a little bit easier. I got rid of a few of them. It should be a little bit easier to just walk around here, right? One or a couple. There's two more. Or there's three more. God damn, there's so many of these assholes. Please just lie down. Oh, that was easy. Enough. Okay, what's down over? Phrenology. Eight. Is that supposed to be ironic? <laughs> Is that supposed to be ironic? <laughs> Is that an original? I thought you were only supposed to give someone a piece of your mind. <laughs> Did you know half your workers are unconscious? The, the, the fumes issue will resolve itself. Look, I'm very busy recalculating the brominating reaction so it is non-explosive. Unless you've got a magic formula for synthesizing joy out of bleach, whiskey and saltpeter, get out! You're planning to lobotomize the people of Wellington Wells, aren't you? Lobotomize is a rather inflammatory metaphor, but yes, I have been asked to synthesize something stronger and more permanent than joy. Who are you? If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat. <laughs> and what do you think you are now? <laughs> you are just the sum of the neuropeptides swirling in your bloodstream. You see, the current downer outbreak is just a mass chemical imbalance. But I believe I can adjust the internal hormonal settings so the people stay happy no matter what. You can't do that. They told the Wright brothers they couldn't fly. <laughs> but they did. Do that. Oh my lord. You're that downer they've been warning us about. I'm actually just here for a bottle of cod liver oil. What makes you think I'll give it to you? This bottle of your new formula. If I smash it and you breathe the fumes, mm -hmm. will it make you happy forever and always? You mustn't. It makes the patient insane. Ha! Now you can't move until I take my hand off this button. I like how he's trying to stretch over. Yeah, good job. Now, where's the bloody cod liver oil Sally wanted? This is the click. It's this. Uh, to Dr. Verloc, um, from Penelope Snug. Dear Anton, my workers seem to have received a weak batch of joy. Oh, whoopsie. Oh, it's, a, it's the same one. In the office I've ever seen. Where does he hide his junk? I wonder if he has a secret lair. Jesus, dude, the booster. Just saw who would. Steel. Oh, I can do some better building, crafting. Chemical answer. Dear sir, as you know, your, our citizens have become dispirited due to some unfortunate incidents during the war. I believe your laboratory could be a service in restoring morale. On examining the German camp, we discovered that German soldiers were given fatigue pills. <laughs> that contained amphetamines. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and opioids, which contributed greatly to their spirit and decor. Uh, 
It turns out that's how their men were able to punch through our lines again and again, wondering how it was they never seemed to sleep. It's actually really funny that they have this there. Uh, I believe the answer to our problems may be chemical. I believe you might be the hero we need now. I'm aware that this will inconvenience your own research, but as other great Napoleon fighters said, England expects every man to do his duty. Uh huh. Well, here's the button. Hello. I'm in a haunted house movie. Sally's ridiculous cod liver oil. I'd better be down here, or I shall be cross. Oh boy. Listen, Sally Boyle's gonna come live with us for a bit. Sally Boyle? Why? Because her mum poisoned the whole bloody rest of her family, Arthur. And oh. because we've got a spare bed in the attic now till Percy comes back from Germany. She's your age, you know. She's an idiot. Well then. Nice. You two should get along beautifully. <laughs> Chemistry questions. Dear Dr. Verloc, thank you so much for showing me your labor laboratory. When I visited with Mr. Adams, as you can imagine, it was very exciting for a girl from a small chemist shop. I myself have been trained to become a chemist and have learned pretty much everything Mr. Adams has to teach me. I wonder if I might come by your laboratory sometime to ask you more about well, more advanced chemistry questions. It would be such a privilege to learn from a really advanced scientist. Sincerely, Sally Boyle. Dr. Verloc seems to be quite the collector. Where's the fucking cod liver oil? Don't laugh, Arthur. Don't laugh. <laughs> King Harry, weak bull dandy. Press the button. Give him gas. Oh dear. I feel kind of bad. I mean, the other guy kind of went crazy, so I'm not sure if that's much. I don't know if I want him. Oh, that one's not. Pressable. Let's just climb over broken glass. What could go wrong? Why can't I sleep in that bed? Come on. Dr. Hallworth. To General Bing from Anton Verlec, PhD. I hope you'll not think a mere research chemist is out of line contacting you, but I'm frankly concerned about Dr. Hallworth. Despite Joy's great success, he has been allocating resource toward his study of phrenology, a laughably discredited 19th century pseudoscience. Indeed, he talks of little else when he thinks no one else can hear him. I'm not suggesting he's actually sabotaging the factory, the recent shortages, or the result of mix-ups that anyone could have made. But I know you share my concern about the importance of our work to Wellington Wells and won't listen to me or anyone else. What do you recommend we do? Okay, that's where that came from, I guess. Hey, cod liver oil. Thank you, Sally, for another wonderful adventure. There we go, short spike. Scotch and duct tape. Press the button. More for the journal. To the new secretary. I hope you have better success in this job than I did. You should know that Dr. V is most insistent that all traces of a certain woman be expunged from the labor laboratory. If you ask me, she who must not be named has was the brains behind this whole operation. It hasn't been the same since she left. Dr. V will ask for information that is in her notes, but you can't give him one of her notes. Oh no, else she'll be sacked like me. I've hidden her papers in the storage room and the computer room, which used to be her office, so you can get them without his knowing. It's complicated, but I'm sure you'll manage. Good luck. P.S. Dr. V also gets his knickers in a knot if you nip some of his good scotch. Just a word to the wise. This doesn't look like where the pills go out. What's going on this conveyor belt? Oh, let me just climb through here. Possibly me. 
Oh, that's good. Hey, pills! <gasps> Time to go to the cramped little duct here. Oh, that smells awful. This is where they flush the chemicals. And what does he have on him? Oh, you're not a bloody mule. Pick what you can carry easily. I mean, am I not a bloody mule? Come on. Okay. Drain? Where? The river? Might be a way out. I think clean. Oh, in the river. Not that anything's alive in it now. Nice and clean. Did they fall in? Or were they pushed? Or were they flushed? Push. Uh, a hatch. Lovely. I've seen so many hatches in my entire life. It actually wasn't oh. so bad. See Sally she again. Oh, right there. Let's travel there. How'd they get a cow down there? Oh. Um, I guess I could try and use that. Don't need a second gas mask. I don't need that much scotch on me. Um, I got rid of some decent Enhanced rock. Alright, now let's go to uh crafting station. Oh, not that one. I can upgrade though. Oh, that must have been a big deal. Best workbench. Conforms in the garden district. That'll be nice to get. Eventually, maybe. Mother's little helper. Ooh. Now yeah, let's get that. Should be able to upgrade this as well. Oh, never mind. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, it's not too long to go over there. I don't care that I'm out at night now, so that's easy. I wasn't even in that area, you little shit. It's locked too, so that's good. After nearly getting me killed, she put out my bloody letter of transit. So? Sally? Salamander? Salamander. I swear to God I'll kill her. Hi. Nice. I got it. For precious cod liver oil. Oh, you're a lifesaver. It's a bloody souvenir. God, it's awful. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. How are you holding up? What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want. Always what you need. Every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Do you really think I'm that awful? What, just because you fucked my dad? While you were living in our house, in my mum's bed. Well, that's awkward. <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Look, I don't hate you. In the strangest way, you're completely innocent. You're practically the only one I know who is. It's on the dresser there. Are you going to be okay? I could take you with me. Really? We have to go now. The joy's gone bad. It's going crazy out there. I can't go right now. Why? Oh, God. No. It's mm. not simple. It never is. We'll have to wait till dawn. No, that, that, that's crazy. It's I, already I dawn. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. Look, there's something I haven't been entirely straight with you about. Mm. <sighs> it's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. God damn it. Do you think she really meant it? The kiss and all? What if I went back and said, yes, yes, I'll take you, and they lived happily ever after? Nice. Oh, a girl like that shipwrecks, and the next day she's drinking margaritas under palm trees, and you'll suffer for shocks. That is it. Never again. Well, I guess we know what our way uh, went so bad, but. We're allowed to cross. Okay, that was easy. Uh, what should I have done? Should I have turned around and said yes? I will. Yes, come with me. We'll go at dawn. Whatever you say. I always used to wonder if I'd run out the door after her that day. What would have happened to us? Would we still be friends, or was the magic all in my head? Who am I kidding? Six-year-old me would, never, would have never had the courage to leave home. And here I am, running out the door when she wants to come with. Not entirely unlike what I did to Percy. I wonder what lies I'll tell myself about her later. Am I really doing this for Percy? Or is that just another convenient lie? Because I need a reason to go off the joy. And he was the one I could come up with. What if she is utterly sincere? What if she honestly does want me and love me and need me? Do I, utterly have no, do I have utterly no faith left in anyone? And she survived and I'd get killed. A girl like her shipwrecks the next day. She's drinking my reads and palm leaves. There's truly a shark bait. I can't. Just can't. Oh. <laughs> No, uh, I can't fast travel right now. Great. Let's check out what skills I can snag. Hmm.
If this means so I could pick locks more easily, then I would do it. Like, the silence is nice, but I mean, like, being able to do it constantly. Yeah, sure. I'll buy that. Lovely day for it. Right oh. Oh, that was easy. Uh, let me actually drink some tea. That'll help me go by a bit more quickly. Or chicory, whatever. The parade district. Life for noise? Pop a joy. Lovely day, oh. Frit. May I see your letter of transit, please? Welcome to the parade, sir. And may I say you've arrived not a moment too soon. What do you mean, Constable? A word oh. to the efficient is sufficient, sir. If you catch my drift. I would not count on this bridge remaining operational in the near future. Nudge, nudge, smirk, smirk. Say no more, say no more. Oh boy. We like to work, are we? Trains. Choo choo. I don't like trains off. Are you joking? You love trains. Do you remember when we went to Plymouth on that train? You didn't want to get off. That was in 1941. Yeah, it must have been. I. I. I, I don't want you to go to Germany. You think I want to go? I don't know where we're going, I don't know what they're going to do with us there, and who knows if we're ever really coming back. But I don't have much of a bloody choice, do I? Who would talk to me when you're gone? Dad talks to you. Well, no, I suppose he doesn't really. Mm. Ouch. Oh, he does love you. I believe you, Arthur. He's just really rubbish at showing it. Right, just like Attach. I pictured it. Strange to be back here. How long ago was it I used to just trundle off to work every day right around here? Now I just need to get into the broadcast tower so I can get into Appleholm Station and find the train tracks to the Britannia Bridge. I'm gonna save her. Sorry I couldn't be at the meeting. Uh, did I miss anything? The Fashion Institute. I bought some trousers there. Bloody expensive too. If I remember correctly, they've got a hatch in their basement. Good thing Sally taught me to be nosy. Who knows when I might need to get to a bed. I should see if I can get down there. How dare he cancel on me? I don't care if he's double booked. <laughs> Nothing before I taught him how to walk. Uh, I know. I, I know how to muddle. Sorry, love. Tits ruin the drape. What? Buy me a new male model. Too sweet. That was fast. Hmm. Right height. Right build. A bit tan for my taste. You're new, aren't you? Never mind. If Quintin sent, you're probably not hopeless. I just hope to God you can strut. Go downstairs and ask Nigel what to do. 
I'm gonna have to do this stupid fashion show to get it, aren't I? Maybe the models can tell me how not to make a complete fool of myself. I can't wait to see how they fix that blood hole. He was talking to me and just staring in the opposite direction, okay. We all appreciate what you do. Yeah, time to pop some jewelry. I think I need. You seem a bit sick. Well, that feels in. You seem not entirely delighted. Stage fright. The last time I tripped on the catwalk, Davy locked me in a fucking closet for three days. I could use a shot of whiskey, but all we have in this wretched place are drugs. Well, here we go. Thank God. Can you believe he made me tape up my tits? <laughs> the girl who played Dorothy in that old movie about the shoes. What? I wonder if that's real trivia. <sighs> that helps. I'll let you in on a little modeling secret. I toss the crowd a bouquet. They love that. All those lads want to be brides, but it's not going to happen, is it? Take a few more of these and I wouldn't be a downer anymore. I'm not like these wastrels. I could just take my joy and have done. Are your pub mates beautiful? Are they famous? No. Well then boys, stop playing them into the VIP lounge. The whole point of a VIP lounge is to keep people out. That's what makes people want to be in. You let any pleb from the village, you might as well call it the parole hovel. Kindly remember this if you wish to remain employed. <laughs> David Hackney. <coughs> Something, kid. Fuck! My pants ripped! Davy will kill me. You wouldn't have a sewing kit. So do I just have one? There we go. Why wouldn't it let me... About to be in front of... I just want you there to know go. that I appreciate what you do. Thanks, Azil. Now the whole crowd won't have to see my knickers. I'm sort of... new. Got any advice? Try a fierce I'm watching you move. Okay. You look like a ghost. You are the one, aren't you? I'm a bit fucked up. But Candyman said it was a oh boy. special, but but he lied. I'd kill several innocent people for a flash. Do you know any innocent people? I don't either. <clears throat> people don't care about me taking all this shit, huh? This is kind of a lame, uh, You're a mission. Saver. It's a lot of just pick up something, give it to someone ne right next to you. Uh, any advice for the catwalk? Do a cheeky little bang-bang gesture. I uh. love that. Alright. Light the noise, pop more joys. I 
I'm missing a key or what? Or do I have to go over? That's for letter of transit. Don't you look smart? The old man's on a rampage. I wouldn't ask him for a raise today. Now let's go upstairs and talk to him. I don't know. The okay, there we go. That's it. Theory. Go out there and fucking wow them. Just yeah. strap to the spots marked with X and show yourself off. And quickly. We'll get going then. You are capable of walking ten feet, aren't you? Oh, and whatever you do, don't fuck up. Okay, and... Oh! And on your mark, and work it! Be fierce, Arthur. Be fierce. Pose. Here we go. I guess it worked out. Hopeless. You're utterly sung charisma. What? I'm not surprised you're homeless. <laughs> what? Say, Mr. Hackney, it's a bit late and I sort of live on the other side of town. Would it be too much trouble? I suppose you did do me a favor. Here, get some beauty sleep. Not that it'll help. Gee, this guy's a dick. Let's get there real quick before I become a downer again. There we go. Nice. No, I could come back here from any other hatch with me shelter to kill me. Bad, here we go. And when he woke up, he realized it had all just been a bad dream. better. There we go. <clears throat> Let's stay away from the doctor. He's not good. The chief asked me to borrow the scissors. Have you got them stashed away somewhere? Right as rain, right as rain. I'll say if I want God damn it. Go back and stash this uh some clothes. I kinda forgot about that. Somehow. I'm like, I don't really need all these clothes. Honestly, I kinda just don't like how this looks, but I guess I'll keep wearing. Uh, in spite of that. I guess it looks silly. Where's the stash? Oh. Journal note, okay. Davy, darling. You want to know why I seem off today, but you already know why. Even if you think, I don't know. Deirdre returned a hairboat to me that she'd found by the bed. She thought it was mine. Though I never wear... And... Tartarus? 
Retro. I wanted to die. Absolutely wanted to die. You've been an hour bed with Pris, haven't you? No one can pull off Chartreuse. How could you? I decorated that bed. Think of you and Pris and my parachute silk sheets. How can I ever trust you again? I'm doubling up my joy today, but don't assume that my smile is mean. You haven't broken my heart. I, uh, P.S. Please remember my Nick Lightbearer records and my good tweezers. We're finished. P.P.S. I want to eat an entire cupcake. I don't care what you say. Ooh. Lovely. Um, yeah, so where is, um, I guess I could move around if I had to. Isn't there a stash? There has to be a stash, right? There it is, okay. So much crap you just kind of carry around with you that you don't really think the weight that it has, but it adds up quite a lot. Like, look at those right there. So, I want to stay away from this area because that big robot, that sucks. Or, man, but they're going to notice me if I do that. Be like, hey, why is this guy messing with that box? That would be a good question. Okay, well, I can't go through. Oh, do I actually have to go past that Bobby? Probably. They seem to be a lot more serious about the plague here. It must be spreading fast. Not a pleasant thought. Marvelous! Right oh! I can't bribe you with scotch right now. Yeah, that's a good point. Jolly good fun. Lovely day for it. Oh. Ah, fine. Take more damn joy. God damn. Much of the uh. <sighs> Very spamming right now. Snuggers? I'm glad I'm not a bobby if that's how well they're taking care of bobby poppers these days. If we can just reduce the budget a tad more, I think we could really make an impact. Did you see the Pipers match? Smashing! Oh. This won't take a minute. Oh. Yeah, let's stop that. Yeah. Now I'm extremely glad I'm not a Bobby. What the fuck? I find you. You're gonna wish you will never guess who I caught sneaking out of the executive washroom. Right as rain. Right as rain. This his body real quick. Hey, he's carrying an apple, okay. Mm. 
Bobby pins. That's useful. I don't think I can do this as long as these poppers are popping out constables. Do you have those numbers for George yet? All right. Just uh You can't hide from me. Can't see me behind the newspaper. I'm inconspicuous. Like what a minute of this though. Just off my drugs. Let me make them down in peace. There we go. Better. Police force seems to be out in. I had a short spike. Oh, God damn it. works exposed like that what if someone were to have an unfortunate accident and break things hack this let me brighten your day ah! Cheerio! Right, Toe. Power set. Go back to that shrink as you're done.
Thought I'd actually do something. Why are we doing this to each other? the planet. That popper looks like it's rather well maintained. I wonder if I can change that. Oh, that's a way. Heal up a little. Best first aid kit. God damn it. I better find a way to turn these off if I want to get through that gate uncooked. Oh, I probably just missed something down here. That maybe? Oh dear, I don't think that's working anymore. Dear, that's not working anymore either. Things have come to a pass indeed. Here we go. Oh. There. Oh, that bother. And I don't even have plague. I don't see why you can't unquarantine the pie shop. Cook is beside herself. My dear lady, if we lift the quarantine gate on the pie shop for you, We'd have to lift every quarantine gate for anybody. No, you wouldn't. I'm not anybody, am I? You perish the thought, madam. You can just do it for me. I'm afraid we actually can't. Our <laughs> quarantine control grid needs uh, a framistat. We've ordered a new one from the Department of Scientific Research. I'm throwing a dinner on Friday. I expect you to get your frammy whatever and unquarantine the pie shop, or I shall have to explain to the Minister of Health why we have no pie. <laughs> okay. Smashing. Right as rain, sir. Right as rain. What's that quest? Uh, 
Ah, uh, there's a lot here. I think I'll save and quit. Kind of late. Yep, thanks to everyone who came by. I will catch you next time. Well then, bye bye.